Today is Wednesday, 2016 hospitalization of this uh, Therapine 5 years old female, paw, paw on top, paw, paw on the shirt. We, we are giving the sunlight. She's not been eating for last <coughs> four days after being a, after having an egg stuck inside the cruel car. The egg was punctured with the needle and syringe and taken out. Now we are testing whether she eats or not. We put some, we put some uh, pellets in front of her. Put her further down in, in the water. Put her further down so that she can see the pellets. Oh. Down on this side, on this side, further down, on my side, but on this corner. Uh, uh, can she see the pellets? Just put some pellets in front of her. See whether she thinks. Uh. Throw some more pellets. Is it pink? Hmm? Just throw, throw, let me video the, the appetite is there. No. Let me throw some more in. It's the bubbling water. She's drinking. Did she finish that one? No. Huh? Din. She bit a bit. Well, at least that bit return, then she can go home. Huh? Make it a few more. Yeah. Normally they eat about 20 pieces or 30. This one is quite well fed actually. Now from the x-ray there seems to be some either eggs or gravel. Those small stones inside the intestines. Now what happened to this therapy was that uh, four, four, around four to five days ago she laid a well-formed egg but the egg got stuck in a Korea car. So that it was stuck for over a week. So the owner brought it here so Dr. Daniel put a syringe and needle, put a needle into the egg, puncture it and suck out the, the contents of the egg. And uh, puncture the egg so that the uh, egg reduces in size and, and we could extract out the egg, egg shell itself. In the process, after remo removal of the eggshell, I noticed the, this terrapine urinated more than normal, as if the bladder had been obstructed. After urinating a lot of urine, maybe over 300 ml or 200 ml, she passed greyish green fluid, which could be the the stools with uh, the the grit, so so this egg egg had uh, obstructed the cloaca. Cloaca is the opening where the urinary system, the reproductive system, and the alimentary system, the three systems meet. So when the big well-formed egg, about quail egg size about three quarters of the quail egg size is stuck at the at the quail car for over a week. The terrapine was really distressed and not eating since the egg couldn't come out. So the owner brought to Tuapaya Vets for treatment. We, we did not do x-ray at that time to save money and uh, the egg was extracted using the needle and syringe to suck out the contents and then to pour out the egg. However, this terrapin did not eat anymore at home for the next three days. So the owner brought it here and I had the x-ray done. The x-ray showed no more eggs, but there seemed to be a lot of uh, pebbles, small pebbles in the, inside the body, in the coelom and also possibly another clutch of eggs but uh, that, that depends on further examination. Now I will show you the x-ray 
I'll go in and see the x-ray. Now, as you can see, I have uh, I have uh, processed the x-ray. Now, the therapine, five-year-old female, was x-rayed in a plastic container. Uh, do you take out the egg from the back side, the eggshell? Yes, a, done. Uh, that's done. Uh. Yeah, so there is the eggshell. There's the eggshell from the back side. The cloaca there, which I think my assistant took out. You took out already? Yes, done. Okay. Now, this x-ray was taken with the terrain inside the container, the plastic container. So the head, the head is upwards. The head is upwards against the side of the container. Wait. The head is upwards at the side of the container. And uh, so you can't really see the head here because the terrapin was angling the head up 45 degrees. But now we have a clear view. There's no more well-formed eggs inside the oviduct. But you notice, there appears to be a clutch of eggs here. Or it looks like eggs. This could be also the pebbles. I will ask the owner whether they're pebbles or not. Now, there's a small piece of eggshell which we know. This cloaca had been uh, inflamed and enlarged due to the obstruction of the egg inside early on. We punctured the egg shell and uh, extracted most of the egg as well as sucking out the contents, but you can see there's a bit of, of shell left over there, which we have extracted. Now, are these a clutch of eggs or not? This is the question now. Or are they, are they gravels from the aquarium, from the tank? So that I have to ask the owner. And today he's been eating a bit, so it's a good news. Now you can see the intestines have been uh, distended of full of gas due to the obstruction of the of the egg bound at the pelvic canal early on before extraction. This x-ray shows no more. This x-ray is taken after the three days after the extraction of the egg bound egg at the pelvic canal about four to five days ago. As you can see there's no more eggs there. But uh, to me, these are another clutch of eggs. Some of them do look like pebbles, especially the non spherical types. Uh. So we have to wait and see that the therapy is eating today a bit. And uh, we, once they start eating, we will send it home to our bio vets Singapore, five year old female therapy introduced to a male terrapin and uh, that led to egg laying with one egg stuck well formed mineralized egg stuck in a cloaca or four days ago this extraction is taken four days later when the complaint is that the terrapin is not eating so we took an x-ray, other, other, other than that we don't take x-rays and uh, this x-ray shows that there is no more mineralized eggs inside the silum and these small ones are likely to be another clutch of uh, smaller eggs not formed yet or they could be pebbles as the terrapin could have eaten it swallow the pebbles in the aquarium. I will ask the owner about this. Topaya Vets, uh, Thursday, May 10, 2016, Singapore.